Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to be going through question number three from the January 2023 Pure Mathematics P3 paper um, from an international A-level at Excel. This question here is about logarithms and exponentials. We're given a graph um, where log to the base 10 of y is plotted against x. And we're given this straight line plotted on this graph, which has the coordinates um, shown, the x and y intercept given of this line. And we have, it tells us that the line L in figure one shows a linear relationship between log to the base 10 of y and x. The line passes through the points 0, 1.5 and minus 4.8 and 0 are shown right down in the equation for L. Okay, so here there's not much calculation involved as the question states right down so an equation of a straight line which this is is given by um, the gradient we need two things we need one is a gradient and the other thing we need is the y-intercept okay so we need those two things to write down, down the equation of a straight line the gradient which is given the symbol m and the y-intercept which is given the symbol c now we have the y-intercept in the question Okay, this is the y-intercept here, the place where it crosses the y-axis. So that's that's what we really have, which is 1.5. So we can say c is equal to 1.5, and m is equal to, well, the m is the gradient of the line. To find the gradient of the line, you have to find the difference between the y-coordinates, which is 1.5 minus 0. Divide that by the difference between the x-coordinates, which is 0 minus minus 4.8. So the gradient is 1.5 over 4.8, okay, which is basically 15 over 48. 15 over 48, I think, um, divided by 3, that's going to be 5 over 16. Okay, so that's the gradient of this line, 5 over 16. So we can write down the equation of the straight line. Now, the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. I'll write it like that for now. Because our y is not y. Our y axis is log to the base 10 y. So this is going to be log to the base 10 y equals m, which is 5 over 16 times x plus 1.5. This is the equation of this straight line. And that's the answer to part A of this question. Okay, now for part B, it says, hence or otherwise, express y in the form k times b to the power of x. So you have to have y equals k times b to the power of x, where k and b have to be found and expressed to three significant figures. Okay, that looks like a, a star now. That's an x. Okay, so what we need to do is rewrite this in exponent form. This is in logarithm form. We want to write it in exponent form. That's basically what they're asking us to do here. All right, now how do we write something in exponent form? Well, we, we have log to the base A of B equals C, sorry, equals C. Okay, this is the like a general rule for logarithms. If I want to write this in exponent form, I think of the base as the base, log to the base A, and the result as the power, so that's A to the power of C equals B. Okay, that's how this becomes from log form or changes from log form to exponent form. You take the base, in this case, we, we started off with log to the base 10 of y equals 5 over 16 x plus 1.5. So the base is 10. So we have 10 and the power is everything on this side. All of this is the power. Whatever's on this side is the power. So the power is going to be um, 5 over 16 x plus 1.5 that's the power and that's equal to y so we can say y is equal to now if you notice here we want this term to be to the power of x not to the power of 5 over 16 x so we can think of this as first of all what we can do is we can split this up that's the first thing we can do all right we have a to the power of b plus c is the same as a to the power of b times a to the power of c it's kind of like you know in reverse right when you have two numbers in index form, you can add the powers. So if you have uh, something raised to index form of a sum of powers, we can split it up as a product of those two things. So I can write this as 
10 to the power of 5 over 16 x okay plus or oh, sorry times not plus times 10 to the power of 5 uh, sorry 10 to the power 1.5 i'm saying 5 okay so this will be something that's getting close to our answer so you have 10 to the power of 1.5 and here we want to express things as something to the power of x so this is going to be times 10 to the power of 5 over 16 and i'll write it like this to keep it separate from the x so this is k times bx so i've written it in the form we need except they want me to write k and b to three significant figures okay so we have to rewrite this so that then significant three three sf so we have 10 to the power of 1.5 which gives us 31.6 to 3 SF, so that's 31.6 times, and then we have 10 to the power of 5 over 16. Okay, let's see what that gives us. That gives us 2.05 to 3 SF, 2.05 to 3 SF, so that's going to be times 2.5 zero five and um so that 2.05 and that's to the power of x that's the power of x so this is your k and this is your b this is k and this is b all right so there we have the answer to that question question number three part b from this paper um, a newish type of topic. It wasn't in the old C3, C3 or the C3-4 papers before. It started in the uh, new P3 syllabus. So this is there's relatively few questions of this form in those, but it's pretty much you know something quite simple. So there's no big deal there. So you'll find um, other questions from this particular paper, this January 2023 P3 paper, in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. You will find um, other questions dealing with exponential logarithms from P3 in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And you can watch the video up here, which will take you to um, a video which, which tells you how to use my channel more efficiently. Thank you for watching and see you soon.